Oh, God. God, why do you smell so Oh, bad? my God, you're messing up my wig. Ow. You can't mess up something that looks like a dog turd covered in red hair. Kids, it's Matt and Biscuit, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, honey. Okay, so yes, we're back on YouTube. So for those of you who haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because you do not want to miss yes. one video of this shit show. Because we'd love to hear what you have to say about us, especially you, Brian. You little leave Brian out of this. Uh, you know what, Brian and I have yeah. had this. You know what? Going I don't. I don't want to hear it. That dry tug. I don't. Okay, great. that's quite enough. As most of us know, it is back to school time. It is back to school time. <sighs> Little rugrats. Yeah, at least they're going to get out of the neighborhood. That's true. I'll be able to get around to the houses and make sure that everybody's got their, their wise cameras up and their... I almost killed, I don't know how many kids almost ran over him. Not my fault, though. Those little bastards, they just sneak up on you. It would be nice if you actually brightened the tint on your car so you could actually see human beings outside of you. You know what? It's not my problem, okay? So, do you remember going back to school? Of course I do. But I really, honestly, I'm lying to you. I didn't really go back to school. What do you mean you didn't go back? I was homeschooled. What? You were homeschooled? Yeah, I was homeschooled. Yeah, we lived in Pennsylvania, and I was the best cow milker around. <coughs> My parents wouldn't send me to school because I could quickly <coughs> milk an entire herd. It came in handy later on, and thus my proclivity for dry tucks. Good God. Well, I remember going to school. It was the best. I actually started my first business in kindergarten. You had a business in kindergarten. I did have a business in kindergarten. It was a crayon pencil sharpening business. Okay. Let me tell you something. Recess was tough. Was tough. And Evidently. You know, yeah. And you know what? I didn't ask any questions. So that's why they came to me. Oh, and cool. I sharpened them really sharp. Number two pencil takes on a whole new liking, doesn't it? So did you have any friends at all because you were homeschooled? I had one friend. One friend? Yeah. Who was that? Well, he was an Amish boy who lived down the road. His, uh, his name was Levi. Levi. Yeah. His name was Levi. His name was Levi. And his dad accidentally ran over his head, taking milk to the town on, in a horse cart. His dad ran over his head with a horse cart. Yep. God, he was handsome. He did amazing things with his hands. A girl of 13 coming into her blossom. Oh my God. So Levi was your first boyfriend? Yeah, and he was, he was as smart as a bag of gravel. Oh my God. But he knew how to do work in the low, ladies. He did. I wonder what he's doing now. Well, I gotta tell you what, when I went to junior high, that was actually one of the most profitable businesses I ever had. Is that all you did was make money throughout school? Let me tell I learned in school, okay? I'm not where I am today if it weren't for elementary and junior high school. So what kind of businesses were you running in high school? Well, I gotta tell you what, this, you know, the mimeograph thing, you know, remember that old thing? Oh my God, where... I love smelling those when they came uh, off. Anywho. <laughs> so back in the day, we didn't have copy machines, but we had mimeographs. So what I would do is I would take pictures from Playboy magazine and I would mimeograph those and then I would sell them as connect the dots to the, all the boys at school. My brother had one of those. Yes. Sold them for 25 cents a piece. Made a killing. Yeah. You spread the boobs out of like five or six different pages. No wonder you made a killing. You didn't show them the whole boob on the same page. There's a lot of confused boys out there that are men. I'm... Are they men? I don't know. They're clowns. I really don't care. So what did you wear at school? Well, I gotta tell you what, every year my father would give me uh, new brass knuckles for the first day of school. I hate to tell you this, that's not clothing. Yeah, it is. In my family, it is. Why? What did oh. you wear? Granimals. Granimals? Yeah. The one where you match the animal to the yes. shirt and the pants? Yes, I love them. 
My favorite was the lion because I, I considered myself more of a summer or uh, excuse me, a fall. Yes, the how lions old, were fall. How old were you? 17. I think we had very different experiences in school. Yes, yours dealt with money laundering and violence. And mine dealt with dry tugs and horrible clothing. How did we become friends? I don't understand. I know, it's amazing, right? It's, it's like a match made in heaven. Or in hell. And just remember, Biscuit rode the short bus. I did. <laughs> with Levi. Oh, jeez. Levi. His hands were so soft. So much for this YouTube video. Yeah. It's kind of a sad meandering down memory lane. Or in your case, memory lane. Okay, you know all what? The dry I'm just saying, the guys yeah, okay, all right, that's acres, fine. Okay. Okay, okay. So thank you for joining us today in our YouTube video. Yes, hit subscribe, like, and hit the bell button if you'd like to see more of this crappy content. Yeah, and if you got any suggestions for more content, let us know because this is as good as it gets. No, it gets worse. <laughs>